Welcome to the Shika Serbu Motor Channel. This channel provides easy to understand explanations of car mechanisms. The topic of this video is Torque and Power. Torque and Power. Hmm, they're a bit difficult to understand. To put it extremely simply, torque represents the strength of the force that pushes the car forward. Power can be described as the distance the car can travel in a unit of time. First, let's take a look at what torque is. Torque is the rotational force that twists an axis. A force pulls up a 1 kg weight using a pulley with a radius of 1 meter. This force is expressed as 1 kg force meter. Today, the unit of torque is measured in newton meters. 1 kg force meter is approximately equal to 9.8 newton meters. Power represents how much work can be done in a unit of time. Shaft A and shaft B generate the same torque, but shaft B can pull up the weight at twice the speed. In this case, shaft B would have performed twice the amount of work as shaft A, and the power would be considered double. Shaft C and shaft D pull up the weight at the same speed, but shaft D can pull up a weight that is twice as heavy. In this case, shaft D would have performed twice the amount of work as shaft C, and the power would be considered double. In this manner, the relationship between torque and power is expressed as power equals torque multiplied by speed. Today, the unit of power is measured in watts. In the past, units such as the metric horsepower, PS, and the mechanical horsepower, HP, were used. 1.36 PS and 1.34 horsepower are converted to 1 kilowatt. To make it easier to visualize, let's summarize it using the analogy of a bench press. The blue shirt man can lift a 100 kilograms barbell, while the red shirt man can lift a 50 kilograms barbell. This indicates that the blue man can generate higher torque than the red man. However, the blue man can only lift the barbell four times in a certain period of time, while the red man can lift it ten times. The red man produces higher power, and it indicates that even the lower torque with quicker movements can generate higher power. Next, let's compare two cars with significantly different characteristics, while referring to the performance curve. The red curve represents a 1973 Porsche 911 RS with a 2.7-liter naturally aspirated engine, while the blue curve represents a 2015 Mazda 6 with a 2.2-liter diesel turbo engine. Currently, both the Porsche and Mazda are cruising at a constant speed of 2,500 RPM. The torque of 150 newton meters is required to maintain the speed. Even if the accelerator pedal is depressed in this situation, the Porsche's engine has an excess of only about 50 newton meters due to its maximum torque being 200 newton meters at 2,500 RPM. As a result, it cannot accelerate significantly. The Mazda has an excess of 250 newton meters, allowing it to accelerate greatly. Based on the above, it can be said that the amount of torque represents the capacity for acceleration. On the other hand, top speed is related to power. If other conditions are the same, a car with higher maximum power will also achieve a higher top speed. At the point of maximum power, the Porsche produces a torque of approximately 240 newton meters at about 6,300 rpm, while the Mazda produces a torque of approximately 280 newton meters at about 4,400 rpm. Despite having lower torque, the Porsche generates higher power due to its higher engine speed. Recall the earlier example of the red shirt man and the blue shirt man. The Porsche's top speed of 240 km per hour and the Mazda's top speed of 211 km per hour are recorded. You might think, I see, so a car with high torque has better acceleration and a car with high power has a higher top speed. However, that is not entirely accurate. For instance, when accelerating from 40 km per hour to 60 km per hour in fourth gear, the Mazda generating higher torque at a low engine speed would produce a greater acceleration. However, in the 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration test, the Mazda has a recorded time of 7.9 seconds, while the Porsche has a time of 5.6 seconds. Please note that this comparison is for reference only, as factors such as vehicle weight, gear ratios, drivetrain, and tire performance are all different. 
Please keep this in mind. Conclusion When merging onto highways, cars with significant torque can accelerate easily. In a traffic light race, cars with higher power will likely come out ahead. Please drive safely. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.